Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we are going to start with topic 8.1, which is types of waves. Firstly, we are going to understand our learning objective and our success criteria to understand how different waves transfer energy, to name an example of a transverse and longitudinal wave, to describe the direction of energy transfer in different waves, and to compare the properties of transverse and longitudinal waves. Firstly, weigh your ideas. You are going to be using the diagram below to show what you already know about waves. Keywords, fill in the section with any words you associate with the term waves. Example, give any examples of types of waves or where they might be used. Diagrams, use this space to draw and label waves and science links and that you guys are going to link what you know about waves to other areas of science or technology. Types of wave. A wave is a means of transferring energy from one store to another. There are two main types of wave. Some waves move or oscillate in the same direction as the energy they are transferring. These waves are known as longitudinal waves, as you guys can see here. Other waves oscillate at right angles to the direction of energy transfer. These waves are known as transverse waves. As you can see that we have an up and down motion. Longitudinal waves transfer energy parallel to the direction in which the waves oscillate. They can be modeled by pushing a spring horizontally. The energy is transferred horizontally along the spring in the same direction the waves are moving in. The spring returns to its original position once the energy has been transferred. This is because waves do not transfer matter, they only transfer energy. Sound waves are an example of a longitudinal wave. As you can see here that we have the direction of the oscillations and the direction of the energy being transferred. Longitudinal waves contains areas where the particles are closer together than average. This is the part where the particles are closer together and this is the part where the particles are away from each other. These areas are called compressions. On a spring, areas of compression are shown where the coils are closer together and the places on the spring where the coils are stretched out model ref refraction. These are areas on a longitudinal wave where the particles are farther apart than average. So, if we are going to be labeling this, the coiled up or closer to, uh, together coils, those are compression, and the farther away from each other, those are very fraction. We are going to be discussing about this and much more during this week. 